What up, what up, Wimbush here. And Epic just updated the roadmap for Unreal Engine 5.3. And I thought there was something that was really interested in here. So I'll leave this link for you guys to go through and look at other things. But what I wanted to focus on was right here where it says sparse volume textures, experimental. So if I look, click on this, it looks like we're gonna get VDB support and we're gonna be able to bring these into Unreal Engine, which there is a plugin that I have a tutorial for that is really good, but it's always good to see Unreal get official support for these type of things here and so i can't wait to go through play around with 5.3 and really see where we could push this but the other thing as well if i come over here there was this path tracer it looks like path tracer is going to get vdb support here as well which could be really interesting because as we know path tracer is along the lines of something like an octane or a ridge shift or arnold and so it's always good to see the path tracer continue to get these updates and make it look even better inside of unreal engine so i know a lot of people hit me up about vdbs all the time and this is much welcome when it comes to unreal engine being able to natively import vdbs but we'll find out once 5.3 opens up and then if i come back over here and i scroll down it looks like we have some hair updates which is cool but the other thing i wanted to look at down here we have some chaos cloth updates coming here as well because as you said the cloth is too expensive for many cases as i just did a tutorial on this as well i found that i ran into a few hiccups here so any updates when it comes to doing cloth simulations is always welcomed here as well and then the last thing i wanted to look at was niagara fluid particle dynamics here in which i want to get better at using niagara fluid dynamics but it looks like you're going to be updating it a little bit more here and we're going to get some path tracing support again that's going to be much welcomed here but if you guys want to go through and actually read through everything here because i just didn't want to read through everything for you guys i'm going to leave this link down in the comments but i wanted to bring a heads up for the vdb support because i know a lot of people that's something that they've been waiting for like if you're using something like Embergen or houdini you can always export out flipbooks but i know for a lot of people especially coming from a motion graphics background that's not something that we're used to we're used to using vdbs so i was really excited once i saw this on the roadmap here so it's just a short video that i'm doing i just wanted to give you guys a heads up for the roadmap of things that are coming up 5.3 i would highly suggest clicking on that link and just reading through it and then tell me what you're most excited about but until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i'll see you soon take care